Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sean Buffalo video. I hope you've all been well. And today we are covering a slightly updated version of the Victory Ponies deck. Now, the Pokemon that came out, Galarian Rapidash, that represents uh, My Little Pony. Obviously, everyone looked at him for, oh, that's not going to be very good, surely. Like, and it saw li literally little to no play up until someone had the idea. Do you know what? Actually. That helps fix the maths with um, Victini VMAX uh, because Victini VMAX only does its uh, maximum amount of damage against other V Pokemon. How do we take those knockouts on uh, Pokemon that aren't Pokemon V, like GXs and uh, tag teams that are still in the format? How do we get it so they're down to the 100 damage that uh, Victini hits against those decks? Like, how do we do it? And the answer is with Galarian Rapidash, with its attack Libra Horn, which basically leaves any Pokemon with 100 HP remaining. So, why is that good? Well, it basically brings all the tag teams down to 100 HP, and with Victim VMAX only hitting for 100 damage as its base damage, unless your opponent's a Pokemon V, then you know you don't really have a lot of attacking options outside of the. Uh, Reshizard and the Heatran. Although my list, as I was explaining, is an updated list. Now, when this deck first came out, um, a lot of people weren't playing, they, they'd just given up on Decidueye as a bad joke sort of thing. And then when they realised that the Victini VMAXes has no way to get around the Decidueye, they just started playing um, Decidueye again, which is why I am running, as you'll see here, two copies of Volcanion, which is by far the best single prize, non-GX, non-V fire Pokemon that's still available in the format. It not only puts fires all over your board if you go second and you don't have a way to attack with it, um, or don't have enough that energy in play to meet its secondary requirement of high heat blast to do more damage, but it's, it's just an insane Pokemon set, basically get around both Altaria as well, which has also seen a lot of play, um, thanks to Tricky Jim and some other, uh, some other YouTubers. So Altaria is seeing a lot of play, and so is Decidueye again, I've noticed. So finding some deck space to put these Volcanions back in. And you know, it's just a great card overall. Like, it can create some insane players just by spreading energy all over your board and making Heatrons uh, potential and maximum in, uh, uh, maximum output with its hot burn GX that much better to help you hit into the numbers that you may not have hit previously with uh, say for example if you can't find your one of uh, pony now I do only play one because I, I do think that it's only worth playing one and you know you've got your options of Heatron and Reshizard now the winning lists did play two but that's obviously when people didn't expect this to be a deck. Now people do, so that's why again there's the additions of the Volcanion to offset the prize trade a little bit, and they also obviously, like I say, help get into ridiculous numbers with Heatran to take a hot burn out of nowhere. So as for the rest of the deck, it's um, pretty straightforward. I've gone down from four Dratches to three, because I think four's a bit overkill, and I don't want too many dead cards in the deck. If I start it, great. If I don't, then it's not probably gonna be the end of the world. Um, and we've got plenty of switch options to get into it and after finding the Jirachi via my draw, support, uh, via my draw supporters which are either Dene and Crobat or indeed the actual Welder. So it's not like playing, playing 4 to me just seems a bit overkill and it always has with these Jirachi decks and that's why I haven't ever really played 3. Um, it also means that I'm not having to scoop up ones out of the active um, eventually if, um, if I start with too many Jirachis and have them forced to bench them for whatever reason, it's just to crow back for more. And that also allows you to find ad additional deck space for, uh, for extra attachments and item usages so you get the maximum uh, draw support out of Crowbat. Um, obviously, one Elder Goss to reuse Boss's Orders and Welder. And I play a 2 1 split. Now, this Victini is amazing because it obviously has Spread and Flames, but if you don't have the Volcanion to attack with turn one and you don't have the Rapidash to, uh, to use Libra Horn, Horn turn one or whatever the case may be or you don't have the Double Blaze. Having this other Jirachi just allows you to put a little bit of chip damage on some things to uh, potentially um, 
find your way there with things like Reshazard and uh, with its double blaze and uh, flare strike and things and maybe even potentially will help with the maths here as well because you're aiming for 220 anyway on Vs and there is a 280 V in the format, not that it sees a lot of play, um, but that is Waylord V. So if you ever run into that, then this will be your one-off saving grace, basically, that can uh, offset the truck prizes again just, just a little bit and help swing the match back into your favour. Um, so the rest of it is literally, other than your scoop up Paltex, which are your Garatina, your Zigzagoon, your Jirachis, you also have your force people nets to reuse them, which also provides a lot of mobility in the deck, your force switches, uh, dual reset stamp because that's the only way you've got to um, bring down your opponent's hand size a little bit more, and it is a great card and will always be a great card until it rotates out. Um, Pokemon, support, uh, Pokemon search support in both Pokemon, uh, Pokemon communication that is, and quick ball, which is your basics. And then triple giant half. Now the other lists are playing four. Again, I, I think four is a bit overkill. Just gets to a point where you're not going to be using four. So why well, use four? That, that's just. And my other thing, my other theory behind it, and obviously a lot of players would disagree with me, but uh, I never like playing four of something of a card that you can only ever use a one off per turn anyway. Now. It's different outside of supporters, obviously, because you need those supports in your deck. The supporter effects are so powerful. But you can only ever put one giant half into play per turn anyway. So, realistically, playing more than four just seems like overkill. And most people only play like a, a single copy of Chaos as well. So once you bump the first one, you'll be able to put your second one into play. And your third one will be for discard. But after that, like if you play a fourth, it's just another dead card at some point that you're just going to be discarding for fire energy. So... It's just one of those things. Um, anyway, so yeah, 11 Fire Energy and 1 Air Balloon. And that's basically all there is for the deck list. So as it is one of my usual videos, I will now give out a code to one of my viewers. Uh, do leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you get anything good from it. It'd be nice to hear back from uh, my fellow viewers. And I will be right back for some gameplay. So we are here for our first match and we do have a semi-decent opening hand, and it won't particularly matter if we're against ADP, like if we're going to get more wild, we're going to get more wild, so be it. And we do just see a one turn att attachment to this thing, so my opponent doesn't have a lot going on, clearly. And I think... What I want to be doing is discarding the boss's orders and getting Reshazard. Because if we hit Balder here, we have near enough one. So we do have the Balder. And this is why Resh if this goes through, this is why Reshazard Donk is so strong because this can happen to opponents. Uh, we don't hit it, unfortunately. And we also miss anything of any sort. Uh, well, we can we can keep going. So, go here. Put this back down. Let's keep up like this. We still have the switch. And we have Pokecom. So we can, if the Crobat's in the deck, which hopefully it should be, um, which it is, this only stops EXs and GXs. So matters not to me. I know for sure I'll be getting an energy, well, not for, so, for sure, but. Pretty much I should be able to get an energy or a giant half off this crowbar for six. And sure enough, uh, we'll give my opponent a well played. <laughs> uh, sure enough, we do have the fire energy and the double blaze. So that's one of many potential win conditions for this deck and we'll be back for game two in, in just a sec. So we are against 
Uh, Togekiss 96. And they choose me to go first. Which is fine, really. I'm going to Pokecom the Obstacoon back into the deck, I'm pretty certain. Um, or just, do we just ping back the Victini V Max? I think so, yeah. We'll go here. Uh, no, sorry, Reshazard. We don't know what my opponent's playing yet, so... We'll go here, and we are just going to crow back for six. And that's, you know, potentially a good hand. Um, couldn't really ask for any better than that. Now my only question is, do I want to put this into play? And I think I do, yeah. It saves just in case any of these random decks play a more while as well. Like, I'd rather the draft should be down with the Giratina. Uh, it's just one of those things. Sometimes, if you if you know you've got enough to get keep you going next turn, then you can simply just uh, bench out without having to worry that you'll need a draw spot for next turn, especially as in my current open ha uh, current hand as well, I also have a scoop up net, so there's many outs, realistically, to... And um, we're against Greenzard, uh, that's an unusual deck to be against. So, opponent off to the races, as always. But at least he will not be attacking me for 50. And then he went second, so I don't know why he didn't just weld her there. Um, that seems a bit off to me. Um, but we are just going to straight up weld a double fire onto this. And we know my opponent has enough fire in the hand anyway. So, we can go here, uh, discard, mm. discard, what do we discard, this. Now, it's obviously going to be irritating if my opponent has, um, All of the uh, heat energies and things like that, but it is what it is. We're attempting to offset the price trade a little bit. That um, that second fire there is potentially amazing. Let's see what my opponent bosses in here. Might be the crowbat. He bosses in this for some reason. Okay. So that's interesting. It means now that we don't have to use our GX attack because we can just weld it onto this Victini. My opponent's probably going to grab all sorts of shenanigans to do with uh, Great Potions, uh, Mallow Alanas, all the rest of it, all the rest of the fun stuff that we've uh, come to know and love. Um, so we are just going to get the. Oh, I clicked the wrong card. Um, well, hmm. That's bad. <laughs> uh, I meant to press scoop up net there. So we're just going to discard this. And we are going to grab Aldegoss. And we are going to try half. Get rid of um, this scoop up net. 
one should be enough. Now we'll skip up that. <laughs> and now we'll play the Elder Goss. Now we'll play the Welder. So, all fun things going on. And we even get the reset stamp as well on my opponent, which is um, phenomenal. Because we do play two, so we don't mind losing one here and taking some of those cards out of his hand. Next turn, if we can Welder again, we even have uh, Heatron options. We also have pretty much definite KO with the Victini V that is in hand as well. I'm going looking for a green so we can grab double Great Potion, I would imagine. greens probably for a cherish ball and a great potion a great potion and a big charm so he's assuming this is going to live this turn um, which I'm obviously not going to let happen unless the big charms for the rush are which it's not so this currently has uh, 110 140 HP okay uh, that is easily manageable Even more so if we find a scoop up next, so we can just do it with Petron. So, what's do here? So, we do find a scoop up there, which is amazing. And we are just going to Stellar Wish. We'll find. I think Quick Ball is probably the best option here. I'm going to scoop up this Jirachi, we don't want that anymore, and so it's on, um, 140 HP, is it better to even use that this turn? It may just be better to attack with Victini B for now. We're going to pop the Zigzagoon back into the deck, grab out a Jirachi, and quick ball away the Jirachi for a Dedene. I think this is my best win condition so far. And we will never need another VMAX. So we're going to Welder here. And I think it's just going energy burst for the knockout. And there's my heat trim. Unfortunately, we have no fire left in deck, so if he manages to double blaze this. Um, he does play the heat, heat energy, which is very annoying. And he even manages to find a reset stamp for us, or to use against us, that is. We find our own reset stamp, so this is brilliant. Um, if my opponent takes his knockout here, which is very likely he does, And even has power plant. So this man had literally everything. 
Um, but he is, he is going to get reset stamp to one. Um, so that's good for us. And... The only question is... Do I want to give him any more energy? I don't think I do. So we'll go... I think we go spreading flames this turn. Did he use flare strike last turn? Yeah, he did, yeah. Um, so I think this turn we go spreading flames. And hope that you can't flare strike again. Another heat energy. Thankfully, we're about to negate these heat energies with the Elder Gods. And I'm pretty so uh, pretty certain that's just game anyway. So we have the Heatron. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this is game, yeah. Um, because we had literally everything we could possibly ask for, and we're just gonna, <laughs> yeah, and my phone just concedes. Um, we had like <laughs> the most outstanding hot burn GX coming up right there for knockout. So that was the right play of action there, because if I had um, used Victory Max, then I would have received more damage by Outrage, which means that if he managed to top deck a boss's orders, he would have most certainly had a KO with just the Flare Strike. Whereas he needed Welder more energy after being reset down to one, with him only outraging me for 30, so that was how, that was my correct course of action there. Obviously I got lucky with how early, essentially, I found my cards, because I was gonna have to retreat into Aldegoss and use Float Up, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, I'll be back for one more game. So, um, back for game three, and with any luck, we are actually against a Corviknight or Turbosation deck by the deck box, but it's most likely going to be ADP. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Are we going to get um, more wild? It's very unlikely that we get more wild. It says, um, more wild must be prized, because I don't know why you wouldn't grab it there. Don't know why you wouldn't go for the other um, ADP as well, but it is what it is apparently. My opponent obviously doesn't have a lot to go off, considering I've just got E to Danny in play, and he doesn't hit some metal energy, which is very good. So we absolutely must. Um, find our pony. And I don't think there's any point reset stamping, and there's no point attaching energy either because I want to be attaching energy to other things. If I could even find other things. So. so. We are literally having to fill up on nonsense Pokemon here, unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, Giant Half Welder? No. Um, Welder's Jirachi? Yes. Okay, so we have Librahorn. And Librahorn's going to pull this down to 100 HP. And I don't even mind if I don't find the other fire. 
or do find the other fire, so all is well in love and war, apparently. And we are going to put this back down again, so we're not getting terrorised by, whoops, I did that wrong. Um, sorry, I was thinking out loud and got taken away by my own, um, by my own train of thought. So we see another ADP come down. That's another Libra Horn target. Is it going to switch into this one? No? Okay. Dangerous plays for my opponent. sure what's going on here. Energy switch, switch again, crowbar. Yeah, crowbar, clearly. Um, so it finds the energy, it's fine. Now we just need a fire energy, but of course we don't get one. Um, so I'm thinking the right course of play here is literally just to leave a hole in the other ADP because we don't have a whole lot going on. If my opponent has the other energy and boss's orders, then so be it. It's just that minor misplay where I was talking um, in the middle of making plays that made me misplay. <laughs> well, I mean, that misplay has set me back so much, basically. So we see it to Danny from my opponent. All four switches, escape ropes uh, are all down. Does he find a boss in energy? That's all he needs. energy didn't find boss so looking for great catcher to find great catcher we shall see and it doesn't find great catcher so brilliant So this is where things go very awkward for ADP is, and there's the energy ballet the never as well, thank you. So we'll go here, grab these, grab this, uh, put this back. And actually, I might just grab the Heatron again. Now, I'm going to grab the Victini V Max, it just makes the most sense. So, retreat. And knockout. We are now only a little bit away from being able to knock out the other ADP on my opponent's bench. My opponent would need the Sword and Leon here to get the knockout, which I wouldn't be too afraid of anyway, because we have Jirachi, Giant Half, Energies in Hand, uh, Reset Stamp. So, it's not particularly an issue. But yeah, it's whether or not he plays Sword and Leon. If he plays Sword and Leon, then 
he can have his uh, he can take his knockout because he's still gonna get reset stamped either way. So let's see what my opponent grabs off this Skyler. Great catcher. Have a Dene. That is fine. I'd rather it be on the Dene than be on the Reshazard, because that would be painful. So Skyler in for free prizes is like a <laughs> criminal. Honestly, but here's what it is. And we only need a boss's orders here. So we're not going to be using this. Take these out of the deck. And we do not know where our boss's orders are. We have no access to Dene, to Dene, uh, to Dene or Crobat, so that is bad. Um, and I'm not sure whether or not I just want to go in with Heatron here, but no, going in, going in with Vixini V Max for now is most certainly the better play. Put this down. That was probably a bad move. I shouldn't have done that. And we'll just max victory. So now my opponent needs like a lot. There's my Eldegoss, thank you. Uh, but still no boss's orders just yet. Charm here to save himself. Starting with the Primate Wisdom. To me, he tells me that he doesn't have it. He has an Energy Spinner. Doesn't even grab a Water Energy. Has a, a Roar Energy of all things. Just when I've discarded my Giratina. Excellent. Excellent man. Excellent players. And we have a quick ball as his last card. Right, so, and he discards the boss orders as well, so that's that's brilliant. He now needs a Zation, a Metal Saucer, an Energy Switch, and the boss's orders off these cards. Off these six cards, he needs four, four out of six cards to achieve anything. So let's see what you've got, opponent. We finally, finally show the strength of the uh, My Little Pony in competitive format. I think we have team. Opponent trying to make it look like his uh, <laughs> lost collect connection or something. But uh, we all know that's not the case. Just ADP sucks. So, uh, get out of here! And we just see a Skylar. So that's not boss orders. It could be another great catcher. If he plays another great catcher. But he st he'd still need... Um, like this, this card here would have to be Zation. Metal Saucer. Energy Switch. Great catcher. And discard these two. Like I don't see that happening really. And yeah it just grabs nothing. Uh, and like he... Yeah so <laughs> that's the end of that match. Um... So, I finally got to show how good the um, My Little Pony, Galarian Rapidash, absolutely can be against these big unstoppable tag team basic Pokemon. And I'll be right back again with the deck list. So, where do I rate this cut? Where do I rate this deck? Um, I think tier 1.5. Like, every fire deck is basically above tier 2, tier two just because of Welder alone being like, the most substantial card ever made. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll break the rules by attaching two energy and drawing three cards. Well done. Um, 
Um, so yeah, pretty much every fire deck that ever got released, Blacephalon back in the day, uh, baby, baby Blacephalon further down the line, um, all all decks are basically Fury and Anger. Um, this is no uh, this is no exception. The fact that you can just get turn one Dongs with Rashizard, you've got maximum amazing output from Heatran, as you've seen in game two. And then in game three, we got to actually finally see the potential of the Glaring Rapidash against tag teams and bringing them right down to 100 HP so that you can take victory uh, with max victory. See what I did there. I'm a man. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribed. Also, if you got any um, cards or got any codes from our video today and pull anything good, please let me know in the comment section just down below. If you haven't already, by the way, or if you've never acquired any codes from any of my videos, make sure you click on the notification bell just down below so that you are one of the first to see my videos and therefore some of the first to acquire the codes that I give out in my videos. I've been Sean the Buffalon and peace out guys.